I got something in the mail a few days ago, which I would like to show you. This. Pathetic. Just pathetic. Even more so, I found this inside of it. This is not funny. The, okay, that was the end of that. Okay, on to the actual video. Good morning! <laughs> it's a new day and so much so far. Yeah, things are still going down to the shitter. The thing going the thing going on in Mexico is still on of course the drug lords and that chop of sun along with the Mexican government. Yeah, that's still going on I as of now. Biden went to the border in two years since he was supposed to and he didn't he didn't do that much to begin with. It's just pathetic. And along with, uh, uh, and along with that, yeah, pretty much just bloody pathetic. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just tired of this nonsense. Along with some other stuff, let's see what else can be in the news. What else is in the news? Let's see. Oh yes, the thing going on in Brazil. <laughs> we remember a few months ago, or technically last year, where a little thing happened in a little, in a tiny, in a tiny little country from I don't know near Asia. But that why was that Asian at all again? Hmm. I, I, I'm being coy with it, of course we don't know what it is, I just can't come up with the name of it, I forgot the name. Colombia, no, 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 that's not the name of it, but, 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 but anyways, in Brazil, they have started protesting against the illegitimacy of what's his face's, what's his face's election. So, yeah, that kind of says a lot about things. So from what we know of, there's still a thing going on in Ukraine, of course. Now there's a little troubling troubles in Mexico, and now things in Brazil, of all places. But it might happen here now. I mean, they're fighting against socialism and communism, so I obviously it might happen in America. I mean, for pity's sake, Mexico is right on our border for crying out loud. Who's to say that they won't try f actually, they are, they are actually bleeding into America as we speak. For the past two years, Biden has allowed almost maybe two million or so elitists from you know, Guadalupe, El Salvador, Honduras, Cuba, well, except for Cuba because they, just the Cubans are conservative. But, but basically, anyone who is, who wants to support the Democrats, you know, can just go right to the southern border. It doesn't matter, no green card, no passport, no identification. They just go up there, hate a free cell phone, do, a, a, do whatever you want. So it's likely that they might try to invade us. I mean, busloads and busloads coming in every single day. It's not a con conspiracy theory to say hmm, maybe they might invade us. I mean, when hundreds of thousands of foreign people suddenly show up at your border unannounced with no identification, no passports, no anything but, but deadly drugs and weapons it's an it's an it's part of an invasion plan i mean just let what happened to i mean just let at the trojan horse bit of a vague example but you, you know what i mean it's basically an invasion not 
not uh, not on paper because on paper it's not like they're actually invading us. It's just they're preparing for an invasion because Mexico is in a civil war. Not long now until they try to you know go over to Arizona or Texas. I hope that doesn't happen. We want peace, you know. So yes, on the other news, Trudeau or whatever I can't pronounce his damn name. I have a speech impediment at times. Let me just say Castro Jr. Just I'm going to address him as his father would. Junior Castro Jr. He's still flecking up in Canada, as you all know. The recent, you know, medical help laws in Canada. Well, let's just say it requires more than a syringe. They're now saying that if you want, you can oof yourself. I have to say oof because, you know, YouTube is so kid friendly. So yeah, they have to, well, if, if you want to, they can, let's just say they can delete you from, from, from your life. 20 years ago, that would have been frowned upon. Now it's apparently a, a new law or something in Canada. And they say COVID was a deadly thing. <laughs> More people are gonna die from this new medical law or whatever it is in Canada than any virus because. Yeah, and now they're saying. Well, not the same, but now they can't. They're now this drug company, probably, probably from the FDA, have come up with a new abortion pill. It kills the baby instantly, from what I heard. It's not like birth control, it, like, it doesn't prevent the baby from, you know, forming in the womb. It's that... Think of it as chemically castration only for females, like it can chemically kill the baby. Even if a like, 9 months pregnant, which is... Despicable and vile and wants me to punch someone in the face for that. I mean, that, that's just despicable, that's vile, ugh. Uh, I mean... It's... What the F? That's just... Uh, inhumane. So we can't... So we can't eat beef because it's inhumane, right? But now they're saying that you can kill the baby that's in a woman because it's humane to do it. What the hell? So... Not eating a cow or a, or what I say a beef cow, you know, a, a bull, because we eat bulls, not cows. Cows produce milk, and we need that. <laughs> but anyways, it's they give more rights t to the animals than the actual humans who need them more. Like they 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 are they are willing to sit in front of a semi to block it from going into the processing plant during Thanksgiving. But when it comes to human, just zing, just zing the damn thing out. Who cares? It's just going to pollute the earth. Meanwhile, all these cows and, uh, and all these bulls and all these, all, all these animals are eating all, of our f eating all the crops, polluting the air. But do they see, but do they see anything about it? No! They would, they are, I bet they are willing to give a cow a bloody condo than the actual, the actual humans who need it. They, they rather help the animals rather than help the poor. I bet you, I bet you they are probably going to have some new law in the next year or so that says that you, you can legally marry an animal. And I bet you the furries will be on that like white on rice in winter. Because, you know, they are disgusting people. I, I say people, but furries, they're not people. They're, they are not people. They have no souls. They sold it to, to, to the devil the moment they bought a $2,000 fur suit. Disgusting. But anyway, back onto the subject at hand. This new, um, pill is, that can, it's basically like an abortion in a bottle. And now I've given them a new brandy name, Damn it! Anyways, it's just despicable and it's bloody stupid. Not more than stupid, it's inhumane. 
I have to say that all the time because it is inhumane. Okay? It's not my fault that you decided to have a little party with 10 other people and now you, and now you don't know who the father is. It's not my fault that your canal down there is more loose than a bloody sponge. It's not my fault. It's not my fault that you decided to have unprotected, unprotection. Yeah, but I'm I'm on the other news. I'm don't I'm going from topic to topic to keep things rolling because I only have a short time. But to but to keep things going, yeah. Another news. It's just some more nonsense with with Prince Harry. Of course, going on with the JKF files, Biden still won't release it, along with the Epstein list. We, we won't see that until probably... never. And yes, and all under other bloody news, under this minor news, n nothing major, just minor news. The COVID laws in, in China are going down, the people don't have to be basically vetted every time they take a step in the airport. A lot of other stuff going on if you know, um, what was that country called again? Sri Lanka? I think it was called Sri Lanka. You know, I haven't heard news, much news from them since the whole, you know, thing they going on there a few months ago. You know, the whole, it, it, literally 99% of the population stood up against the government. Which is basically what happened in Brazil. Speaking of Brazil? I think about 40 people have been arrested so far, as the making of this video, 400 people have been arrested. The ex-president, from what I heard, moved to Florida. Sounds familiar? <laughs> but yeah. Similar to Sri Lanka, they stormed the government buildings and were just relaxing, you know, lounging around. So yeah. <laughs> we don't know what that's gonna accumulate to. Obviously, they are they are trying to take back their nation, and that's a good thing because you know, peaceful protesting. Am I right? But so yeah, the, the, this this whole thing on the southern border. It's more. It's it's literally more close to home than anything else. Especially if you live right next to a bloody border state, or if you are literally living on the border. Arizona, Texas, etc, etc. So far, we, we've been taking in more and more immigrants than ever because of this. Biden is now having a new plan to probably decrease that, but I think that's more by peer pressure anything else, and he is accustomed to peer pressure. I mean, just look at what he's been doing for the past two or so bloody years. So yes, that was just it for this video. I just wanted, I just wanted to show the little thing I got in the mail because I think that's stupid. I will be back for another vid when I have more info on what's gonna happen. So far, yeah, it says keep your head on a swivel and I'll see you in the next bit.